Hey guys, I'm back. I have a happy mail to share with you all. And this is from Vicky Tryheart67 here on YouTube. Thank you, Vicky, for the package. Oh my gosh, she told me she was sending me high chew, but this box is way bigger than the high chew bag. <laughs> so here's the card that is on the top, and I haven't broken into this yet, so I don't know what is all in here. <laughs> Thanks so much, Vicky. Oh, so cute. I love these little um, triangular lace. I like that. And so there is something here on the top. I think there's something in it because it feels like there's something in it. Ooh. Wow. This is really pretty. Okay, let me move the paper over. See that? This is really pretty. I think this is like a a handkerchief. And it's got the little butterfly on it. Ooh. Ooh, okay. And then this is another one. This is really pretty. They're all really pretty. I should say that. Oh my gosh. How could you part with these? These are so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to open the butterfly one so you guys can see that too. And I'm sorry if I hit the camera because my arm is right where the arm comes out. Oh, you can't see that butterfly edge. This one's scalloped all the way around. But there's that butterfly on the edge. Is it on the other side? No, it's just on one side. Really cool. I like that. And Well, I like them all. <laughs> this one's really pretty too. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, Vicky. These are so pretty. And then there's two more. Where did you find these? Or were you collecting them? Like, oh, look how pretty that is. And then it's got this little lace all the way around. So pretty. And then there's this one. The colors in here are so pretty. Okay, I think I got it backwards. Not sure. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Vicki. Okay, I'm going to move these because I don't want them to get messed up. In case I don't know what's in the box. So I will bubble wrap off to the side. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she has shown these. I think she was showing these. I'm not sure if she's shown this one, but she had crocheted these bowls. And I I know her crochets. She she does it whenever she just, you know, has the time sometimes. And um, inside, I'm going to just take everything out. But um, these are really cool. Looks like these are Daiso um, clothespins, but there are Oh, you can put, on the other side of this is like a little um, circle that you can put something in, like maybe a button or something like that. That's really cool. So there's two styles here. See how this one has it at the top and then this one has it at the bottom? Hmm, interesting. I'll have to see what I can make from that. And there is something in here. It's not just tissue paper, but let me show you her bowl because I know this is handmade by her. Look how pretty that is. First of all, I guess she has to, to rip the um, fabric into strips in order to get enough to make, even crochet this. So that's going to take time. And then she's going to crochet the bowl. But this is so neat. I have not crocheted in a long time either that so you can see this is see how she signed it you can see what it's made from it's like either like a, um you know pillowcase or a sheet or something like that you know very shabby material of course and it's got oh this is, I love this thank you so much Vicky I was hoping I would get one of these <laughs> This is better than milk glass, by the way, in my opinion, because it's handmade. 
you know, and very unique. So thank you so much. I'll, I will treasure that. And I will put it somewhere in my craft room where I can use it. Probably on my other crafting desk. And so she sent me something else. Uh-oh. She sent me a strawberry milk glass. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, wow. That's a good price. It's cold because it's cold here. The package was left on my doorstep, so it's kind of cold. We just got home from dinner. But, ooh, I love that. I'm going to put that over to the side, and I'll put the clips inside of that. Oh, and then she sent me another one. Oh, my gosh, Vicky. Oh, my gosh. She sent me... I think this is a Fenton... Um, what do you call these? Um, oh, it's the Cabbage Roses one. I don't think I have this piece. I have a Cabbage Rose one, but it doesn't look like this. Oh my gosh, how did you... Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm like speechless. Thank you so much. That is so beautiful. She said she was cleaning her craft room, but I'm cleaning mine too, but mine is <laughs> going, it's not going so well. <laughs> I need to de-stash some stuff, but I'm getting ready for a yard sale and it's a couple of weeks off, but um, I haven't done enough cleaning up. Ooh, my favorite, strawberry. Okay, that might have to go in the actual strawberry bowl. I'm not sure yet. And then hide shoes. For Mr. G, these are his favorite. <laughs> so those will go to him. He puts those in his shop or takes them to work. And there's another one in here. Oh my gosh. Regular mix. Thank you so much, Vicki. Oh, and she sent more felt. Awesome. Because I have used most of my pink felt. This is the felt from Daiso that came in a really, really long roll. I can't even get it all in camera. Even if I folded it, you can't see it all. So, so there's the there's the pink, and here is the blue. Awesome! Because I was thinking about actually doing some felt projects. And then, oh, I've not seen these before. These are like a um, kind of like an applique, I would say. Um, but they look like a little doily. Very cool. It's almost like the people at Daiso are watching our videos. Isn't that funny? So, um, that's the Happy Mail that was in this box. Thank you so much, Vicki. And I'm glad that you're back doing videos again because we missed you. Um, I know I'm not the only one. So, um, thanks guys for watching. And I will talk to you soon. Bye now.